Assalamualaikum and good morning. We continue with the topic of uh, chain rule. So we have to follow the steps here to solve example 3. Let W equal to X square Y minus Y square. So we have W and then in W we have variable X and we have variable Y. Then we have x equal to sine t and in x we have one variable which is t. So just draw t below x and we have y equal to e power of t and also one variable so draw t below y. Then we will get the same derivatives term as in the previous video like this. And then we have this uh, formula and of course this one is a chain rule theorem for one variable. So this is the information given in example 3 and we have the formula for chain rule. So we go back here, we have step 1, identify the variables, use 3 diagram and of course we have done our step 1 here. Next, step 2, apply chain rule and compute the derivatives. So, we have to find what is the value for partial derivative w with respect to x. And we have w, which is here, with respect to x. And in w, we have x squared. So, differentiate x squared, we have 2x and we just write y because it is a partial derivative with respect to x. The second one, I take partial derivative w with respect to y. So we have w here. So we have w and then we have y. We have y in w and minus y square. So we have to write x square and then differentiate y. We have 1 minus differentiate y square we have 2y so we get x square minus 2y the third one is dx dt so look at x and we have to differentiate with respect to t so differentiate sine t we have cos t and lastly we have dy dt so, look at y and then differentiate with respect to t. So, what we have, differentiate e power of t is e power of t multiply with differentiate t. We have 1, so e power of t. So, done with step 2. So we move to step 3, substitute x and y variables in the chain rule formula or other variables depend on the question. So step 3, we have to substitute all answers that we have in step 2. So the first one, partial derivative w with respect to x. So we have 2xy. And then the second one, dx dt, we have here. Plus, we have partial derivative w with respect to y. We have here. And we have dy dt we have here. And then, given in the question, we have x equal to sine t and y equal to e power of t. So you have to substitute the information given in the question. So our new dw dt equal to 2 x is sine t y is e power of t times cos t plus x square meaning that sine t square minus 2 y is e power of t times e power of t. Next, rearrange this so we get 2 e power of t sine 
t cos t plus the next term you have to expand and we have this so now we finish all steps here but in example 3 we still have the question find dw dt when t equal to 0 so continue when t equal to 0 so substitute 0 to all t lastly solve for this one and the final answer is minus 2